How good was it to to get one of these games tonight? Like, yeah, it was huge. Um, <laughs> Um, obviously getting shut out twice wasn't great, so get some goals on the board and um, and get that first one. It was 51-15. Yeah, I think the start was, you know, getting the puck finally in the back of the net, which was huge for us, and then, you know, kind of get back to our game and, you know, get some confidence back there. It's a seven-game series, so it's a long game. It's not one game makes or breaks you. What momentum can you take from tonight's game um, for Thursday night now? Yeah, I think... Um, I mean, a win's awesome. We're at, we're at home, um, but you just got to take it one game at a time. And I think, like Garrett said, we got some confidence back. We got the puck back in the net. Um, and we got kind of back to a full game, I thought. I think in, in Coachella, we were had spurts of good play, and then we kind of had some, some a lot of errors. So that was good to play kind of a, a more complete game tonight. Well, thanks. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Sorry. What was the level of urgency for you guys tonight? I mean, a 3 0 series is real different from a 2 1. Yeah, I mean, obviously, going down 3 nothing in a series is a, a tough thing to come back to, and I think it was a huge thing that we were able to get this uh, win over time. And, you know, it's kind of just moving forward now from here and kind of still having that little bit of 10-second memory because, I mean, we still can't get too high on this. I mean, we still got to come out next game and, you know, do the task at hand. What about in terms of just, you know, proving that DeCord is beatable, that, you know, he's not on some, you know, he's, he is someone you can score on and just, you know, for your confidence, but also maybe get your days. Yeah, no, I agree. I think for us, I mean, two back-to-back shutouts is is a tough thing to kind of deal with, especially when you know we were getting chances and he was making some good saves. That it, it does stick in the back of your mind a little bit. So I mean, it's good that we were able to you know put some back in that tonight. Can you walk us through your two-on-one goal? I think earlier in the series, you guys both combined for another one and, and couldn't connect. Um, the patience that you had, Joe, to score, like, uh, after the court had shut you guys out, I mean, uh, that says that you guys were building your confidence, I think. Yeah, I think um, we wanted to get him moving. Um, and, you know, Garrett made a nice, nice, nice give and go pass to me and um, just got across the crease. Yeah, I think, you know, just being able to execute like that is something that we we're, you know, glad that we were able to do today, tonight. I think, you know, there's opportunities in Coachella like that that we were kind of putting behind a guy or just missing. I think that was something that was huge is that we were able to just both be able to make a complete pass and put him back in the net. How happy are you guys for Riley Sutter to score the overtime game-winning goal? He's one of the less heralded players on the fourth line. He comes through with one of the biggest goals of the season. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely huge. I mean, he's been here <clears throat> grinding away now the whole playoffs, and they've been a huge line for us, you know, gaining momentum, finishing checks, all that stuff. So it's great to see him, you know, get re- re- uh, rewarded like that. Garen, I know you guys are in the middle of this thing, but you've played here a long time. It's been 13 years since this franchise has won a Calder Cup final game. To be a part of this, how special is it to play with this group of guys and to get to represent Hershey? You know, it's huge. I mean, we've been together, it feels like, for a while, a lot of this core, at least, it seems. So it's it's nice that, you know, we're able to move forward like this and be in the Calder Cup finals. And with the Hershey Bears, it's a it's obviously a huge story and a huge, you know, organization that has a great history. And I think for us, it's just, you know, it's, I'm really glad that I'm here with all these guys, that's for sure. Joe, you've talked about, uh, the team has talked about not wanting this to end. Um, do you still feel that, that you guys, you know, want this series to go, you know, in your favor as long as possible, but also that you want to keep playing together? Yeah, I think um, what makes our team special is that we have such a close, close group of guys. And like Eric said, we've had a core that's been here for, you know, a solid three to four years, but even the new additions this year have just, it seems like they've been here since, since then too. So um, we just have a really, really tight team and we're staying game by game and you know on the ice off the ice we just really enjoy each other can you describe both of you guys kind of describe the emotion of <clears throat> coming to the bench after finally being able to score in the playoffs and you know kind of carrying that on your back and being in and out of the lineup what was it like seeing him score that goal and then him coming to the bench and it? it's awesome um he's just he's such a great goal scorer so you know i think he was he was feeling it for a little bit in this playoffs, but it's just great to see him score, get that get that monkey up his back, and I think he's gonna continue to play goals in this series. Yeah, I think it's always you know difficult seeing a guy who's used to putting puck in the back of the net not, and obviously seeing it weigh on him a little bit. I think it was a great thing to get that monkey off his back for sure. Guys, what was the locker room like after regulation? Were you know, <laughs> anger, or just determination? I mean, can you give us a sense of what was it like for the first few moments when you guys went back into into the locker room? Yeah, I think there was there was, a, there was no panic. I think guys were just kind of getting a little energy back, getting some food, some some electrolytes, and um, we just made a game plan and went out there and did it. Yeah. 
<laughs> as, good as, as great as it feels to win the game and score five, can you guys just speak to the, the challenge of keeping those guys out of your defensive zone? They spent a lot of time, especially in overtime and at, late in the third period. How tough is it to kind of defensively just be on your toes because they, they really did a nice job at times of just keeping the puck in the Hershey end? I mean, yeah, they're a very offensive-minded team, and they have guys who can definitely make plays, and that's a, a big task for us is – being dialed in every time we're in our D zone. And I think, you know, when we go out there and we do our job and everyone's working as a five-man unit, good things happen. So it's just kind of keeping that mindset moving forward. Obviously, you guys are Thank you, guys. Good. <laughs> 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 <laughs>